Hi everybody, my name is Chiara and in this video I'm going to take you through some of the features of the settings page of the Inksfet safety application. That is to say, the general section, the node ID assignment and digital input output. Before we start, note that in order to modify all the settings, you must be logged in as an admin. The top right part of the menu shows your current access level. This section shows the model of the control unit and its network identifier. This identifier helps understanding which control unit we are connected to. The firmware version of the control unit is also displayed together with the information about the connected sensors, their model, sensor identifiers and firmware version. The lower part of the page shows a list of the system parameters and the buttons to perform a system backup in order to save the configuration on the computer or restore a pre-existing configuration. Finally, a factory reset button reverses the system to its factory default settings. The node ID assignment section is where each connected sensor gets its unique identifier which in turn allows the control unit to recognize and identify the sensors along the chain. You can quickly recognize sensors without an identifier. Their LED will flash twice. There are three ways to assign the node ID to a sensor. Automatic, semi-automatic and manual. Let's start with the first two. When we click on the Assign Node IDs button, there are two different modes to choose from, automatic or semi-automatic. In automatic mode, the node IDs are assigned to connected sensors in one shot, without following the order of the sensors along the chain. In semi-automatic mode, a wizard guides us through the connection to the control unit of one sensor at a time. In this way, we have complete control over the assignment of the node IDs to each sensor individually. Now, let's look at the third and last mode, the manual one. In order to proceed with the manual mode, click on the Discover Connected Sensors button. A list of sensor identifiers of the connected sensors is shown here, together with their node ID assignment status. Furthermore, in the Actions column, we can see that the action assign is now available. Starting from the first line, click on Assign and choose the sensor identifier of the desired sensor. Repeat this action for all the configured sensors. Once a sensor is assigned a node ID, its LED turns steady blue. The Digital Input Output section is dedicated to the configuration of the functionality of each input and output of the control unit. For each input, there are several options the muting and restart signals, the stop signal, which means that the input is configured to be connected to an emergency button, forcing the deactivation of all the safety outputs. The field bus controlled input allows monitoring the input status via field bus, and the activate dynamic configuration allows switching configurations dynamically. Let's take a look at the output options. The four detection signals, in which each signal is useful for reporting the status of the corresponding detection field to an output. 
Remember that, in order to ensure the system safety level, each detection signal must be identically reported on a dual-channel safety output. The system diagnostic signal can be used to report a system fault. The field bus controlled output allows monitoring the output status via field bus. And the muting enabled error start feedback signals will be described in the next video. After choosing the function of each output, we can choose the pulse duration at 0 volt of the signal used at the receiver to detect a short circuit. Great, that's it for today! To proceed with the other features of the settings page, don't miss the next video! Thanks for watching! See you soon!